So hey, this is Dan Sfera again, uh, www.theclinicaltrialsguru.com. That's www.theclinicaltrialsguru.com. I'm happy to be here today. Um, I had a question from someone interested in joining a trial. Um, this individual asked me whether the person enrolled in the trial or the study participant or the study volunteer, however you want to call this individual, um, does the study benefit the individual? Uh, this is a complicated question. The answer is not yes or no. It's uh, yes and no. In some cases, the investigational product does benefit the study participant. I have seen cases at my own site where patients uh, enrolled in the study who actually did better on the investigational product than they did in their regular medications that was prescribed to them by their doctors. Um, now these were double blind studies which means they didn't know whether they were getting investigational product or placebo and neither did we. But uh, I believe it was pretty obvious these individuals were receiving the investigational product because in our studies um, if someone is on placebo for an extended period of time it becomes rather obvious. But anyways, um, while being in a study may benefit certain individuals, um, it does not mean that clinical trials are treatments. Um, and, and this is especially true for outpatient studies. Um, now, in, in rare uh, circumstances such as cancer studies where the study participant has tried everything else and nothing else is working, uh, clinical trials then become something of a last resort. Um, but in, 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 in the traditional outpatient setting, being in a study does not constitute medical care. It does not constitute medical treatment. And uh, any site that tells you otherwise is um, obviously lying to you, whether they know it or not. I mean, they should know better. Um, being in a study is not medical care. It's not medical treatment. What it is, is it's uh, data collection. We're collecting data for the drug companies. And this data is being collected at many other sites across the country, sometimes around the world. This data will be analyzed. The sponsors will be able to tell which patients were on placebo, which patients were on the investigational product, and which patients were on the comparative treatment. Now, um, it's very important to understand that joining a study does not mean you're getting medical treatment. Uh, it does not mean you're getting free medical care as, as many sites are uh, advertising. Um, however, you are going to get excellent medical attention while you're in a study. Much better than you would normally get um, when you go see your doctor for a regular uh, office visit. I mean, you're talking about ECGs at almost every visit, lab draws at almost every visit, um, DEXA scans, eye exams, um, vital signs, um, uh, what else, it, it's not coming to me right now, CT scans, CAT scans, things like that, that uh, um, insurance companies would never go for in the private setting because of the cost. But in a clinical trial, you are going to get all this stuff, and the primary purpose is a very selfish one from the drug companies, but it may benefit you nonetheless. Uh, they want to make sure that their drug is safe and they want to cover all bases. So they want to see whether how, how the drug affects your heart, how it affects your, um, your brain, how it affects your blood pressure, your vital signs, your weight, your eyes, anything else you can think of, they're going to be checking up on you. So you are going to get excellent medical attention. Now, this is not treatment. This is... This is for data collection only. However, many patients have done well on um, investigational products, so that does not mean that you won't do well. Um, it just does not guarantee that you're going to get treatment. And it, it does not guarantee that you're going to react favorably to the investigational product. We're going to talk about this in much greater length um, in future posts. But in the meantime, uh, if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer all of them. It's Dan, that's D-A-N, at theclinicaltrialsguru.com. That's D-A-N, at theclinicaltrialsguru.com. 
I will do my best to answer every email and hopefully this brings some clarity to you. Um, this is an often misunderstood concept in our little niche industry of clinical trials. Clinical trials are not medical treatments, however, you may do well while participating in them. Thank you and feel free to subscribe to our blog. It's uh, www.theclinicaltrialsguru.com. We look forward to having many more great discussions with you. Thank you very much.